A California man loses a half a million dollars gambling in Las Vegas. Can you say Gamblers Anonymous? This is dumb news. I first heard about this story through Smokey Dog 7. Go subscribe to my man Smokey Dog 7. Does good stuff. Now, Mark Johnson of Ventura, California says he shouldn't have to pay back the downtown Las Vegas casino because he had a blackout. That's right, they kept giving him so much alcohol that he didn't even know what he was doing. He says he was so liquored up because he drank some drinks before he got to the casino and while at the casino for 17 straight hours, he was gambling and he was gambling. And they just kept giving him drink after drink. He said he consumed almost 20 drinks. He says he was noticeably drunk. He was dropping his coins. He couldn't tell the colors of his chips. Couldn't read his cards, nothing. And the example he uses is, imagine a guy walking down the street, drunk off his ass, wandering and wobbling from store to store, door to door, and somebody just runs up and picks his pockets. That's the equivalent of what Mr. Johnson says the casino did. Now, what's important about this case is it sets a precedence. See, I know in Maryland we have casinos that just opened, and it was a lot of controversy because a lot of people feel that casinos bring down the surrounding areas. Yeah, it may provide jobs, but it also provides an opportunity for people to lose everything. Now, Mr. Johnson says he doesn't have sour grapes. He is not a sore loser. Why? He can afford it. In fact, they, while they were interviewing, interviewing Mr. Johnson, he was sitting in front of his $250 Mercedes Benz. He can afford to lose money. He made money. Actually, he was the owner of a Mercedes Benz dealership and has money to burn. Burn, baby, burn. And that's exactly what he did the weekend before Super Bowl Sunday in Las Vegas. Now, as much as I want to give Mr. Johnson the business for being a drunk ass, in a casino and not being wise enough to know, yeah, you probably wanna, don't want to be too drunk at a casino. There are laws in Nevada about complimentary drinks in casinos. And if this casino was found in violation of those laws, they could lose their license. In Johnson's case, he cites this. In a 21 minute span of time, he was given two markers, one for $100,000 and another for $100,000. Casino owners didn't bat an eye. Or maybe they did to each other or to the bartender. So, folks, what do you think about this case? Is this guy Johnson liable? Yeah, he's liable. But does the casino, do the casino owners owe a duty to their patrons not to take total advantage of them? Mr. Johnson had it bad. In fact, his girlfriend he was there with she went back to the hotel room and she crashed. She said she got up about eight hours later. She came down and found Mr. Johnson, her boyfriend, still gambling and still drunk as hell. Still at that blackjack table or at the goon pie, which is a Chinese version of dominoes, and still lose it big time. So what exactly is Mr. Johnson suing for? What does he want from this? Well, he wants his debt cleared out, first of all, and he wants punitive damages. And he says, or his lawyers say, damages to the point where it would deter <laughs> the casino from doing this in the future, or any other casinos. Hmm. I'm looking at it like, if you go to gamble, you're going to pay a high price. But at some point, we got to say, you know what? We are responsible for our patrons. We do owe a duty to the people who frequent our establishment. I know in the liquor business or in bars, pubs, what have you, if you notice that a patron is too drunk, you can't keep giving them alcohol. And if you keep giving them alcohol and they go out and they run into a tree or something, you can be held responsible. Now we know there's a lot of cameras in the casino and if on those cameras, it's able to prove that Mr. Johnson was drunk off his ass and they kept feeding him liquor and they kept giving him markers. I think this is pretty open and shut. 
I mean, it's one thing to be vultures. Never thing to be cannibalistic vultures. Casinos are in it for money. We all should know that. They're not there because they like you. And they don't let you come in there because they like you. And they don't give you free drinks because they like you. They do it because they know it's easier to make you part with your money. That's why I do not gamble. I made a rule. No gambling for Tim. But I'm not addicted. So I guess it's easy to make that rule. Anyway, I'm Tim Black. This is Tim's Take Live. Let me know what you think about this case. Should Mr. Johnson get his money back? Or should Mr. Johnson learn a valuable lesson? Don't get drunk at casinos. Dummy. I think it's a little bit of each.